Hello guys, today I'm going to give you a basic tutorial on how to animate in Krita. So, for starters, you want to make a new file. Make sure that your file, if you want to upload it to YouTube, has a width of 1280 pixels and a height of 720. Make sure the resolution is 300. For the content, you can change the colour of the background here. I'm just going to leave mine white. And you can press create. And then you will have a blank canvas. Now for this I am using a touch screen so the controls may be different to yours. But like for example a zoom in on my um trackpad will be the eye color the uh, eye drop tool instead and using my fingers on the screen will be to zoom out. Anyway before you start animating, you're first going to need to get some new dockers. To do this, all you have to do is go to settings, go to dockers, and here you have all the dockers. The first one you'll want is animation. This will show you what frame you are on, whether you want to add a new frame, whether you want to cop add a duplicate frame, or you want to remove a frame. The next one you'll want is onion skins, here. This one will show you the opacity of your different skins when you are viewing your animation. This can be really useful as I will show you later. Then you are also going to want the timeline. This will show you where your different frames are. To make a new frame, if you want to keep the background then obviously keep the background. And make a new layer, if you want to create a new frame on just layer 1 then you can do. But I'm going to do it on a different layer personally. You'd select frame 0 there, you'd go to animation and you'd press this button here. Now there is a frame there in your timeline and you can do this as many times as you want by using these arrows. I'm just going to do this quickly. I probably missed one there. Yeah, I did. So now you have a bunch of animation frames in your animation, but you're not too sure what to do with them. First of all, you're going to have to set your frame rate. It's in the corner of the animation here, in the right corner, bottom right. You can have a play speed which determines how fast or slow your video will be and then the frame rate. I'm going to change my frame rate to 18 frames per second. That's what I usually animate at. Now we can go back to the timeline and start animating. This is usually where I put my keyboard off but you don't have to obviously unless you've got the same uh, thing as me. So obviously make sure you're not on the background, make sure you are on your second layer and we'll start animating. I usually like to start with a few sketch frames. To turn on onion skins, when you look on the timeline there will be a light bulb here or if you look on the layer you might see a light bulb. Just press the light bulb and it will pop up. Then you can see your frame there. You can turn on different onion skins here. So if I want to see three, uh, three frames before or afterwards, I can turn on the number three. The previous frame will show in the colour that you choose here. You can change it at any time. Now I'm going to turn mine to green. And then the next frames will appear in this colour here, which is red. In my case. Alright, now we can start animating again. I'm just going to do a very simple animation, but obviously you can do as many different things at once. So as you can see where it's red here, those are the frames that will come next. As you can see this is a frame that will come next in the sequence. And this is the frame that will come before in the sequence. The 
this may slash may not also be a tutorial on how to do a head turning thing of your character that I'm going to do because I'm pretty good at that. Okay. Oh, whoops, I missed one there. Don't worry if you miss one. Obviously just get the, the uh, onion skin and draw a frame that's in between. So now you'll have something that looks like this. Not too great. You can see that there's a pause here. To stop that pause, all you have to do is find your last frame if you want to turn it into a GIF, which for mine is 9. Oh, sorry, GIF, I pronounced it wrong. And you just have to type in the last frame that you want it to end at. This way now, it will repeat itself. I'm just, I'm just going to uh, draw body now. Usually I would use more than one brush, but I mean, yeah, this is just the stuff. If you do want to change your brushes, you can see over here there is the brush presets uh, docker. You can keep that there by dragging it. You have different um, presets here, so there are different brushes. Obviously, you've got razors, ferrets, ink, etc. So, you've got an airbrush here. And it's just a bunch of benzo, so it's pretty good. really thin. That looks really awkward, but okay. I mean this is only a tutorial, it's not too, anything too fancy. So, I mean, I'm sorry if this animation really sucks, it's not meant to be good. So now you have something that looks a bit like this. Yeah, he kind of just slides along. It's not very natural, but whatever. I'm sure if you added a background that was kind of spinning, at least it would look somewhat better. Okay, so now as you can see, we can see the different frames in our animation. You can change the opacity of the layer, where if you look on the layers, docker here, which I keep there, just got the channels next to it so you can switch between them like you can here. You can drag it out and put it somewhere to you know put it somewhere or you can drag it back in there and it'll sort itself out like that. Change the opacity here so you can slide it down. This button here would lock it. I believe. No, it's not what I believe it is. Oh, wait, this is what I think it is. This is alpha lock, which means that you can only uh, draw where there's already drawings. And you can also go and press this button here, which will show you a lot of. Oh, that is what I thought it was. Yeah, that's. that's uh, so, yeah. Obviously you've got like the, uh, different... Like here, you can see now that layer there. It's pink now. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that. I believe you can drag this into... Uh, I probably think it's something else, but... Here is where you can add audio to your animation. If you click the small speaker button here, you can open audio. 
Uh, for example, I could add the Lalloon tooling that I have because I was making it. I'm going to remove that because I don't need it at the minute. You can change the uh, volume of it, you can mute it, remove it. This is where you can add new layers by there. This is also where you can add new layers into the timeline too. So you can have them by each other and you can compare them. Which I think that's pretty sweet if you ask me. But I can just delete that because I don't need it. You can also add an existing layer and you can remove a layer. That's basically all there is to Krita animation. Uh, this obviously one that doesn't come in too handy when your animations last about a thousand frames, but sure it comes in handy when you're making a GIF like this. So you can have all your frames here, and you can just tap the one that you want. Yeah, as I said, this isn't the best animation. I've done better, but yeah. You can also time it, so either by going on animation and clicking the play button and seeing when it lands on which frame. You can change which frame you want to be on by doing that. And then obviously it's taking me to frame 5. This button here can turn off and on onion skins so as you can see when I press it onion skins go off and that goes out of there I press it again it goes back in this is also full I believe which means that if you say you created a gap oh, so now there's 10 frames you can see now it would play frame 9 again at the end uh, here obviously it repeats itself here but it would fill this in as the frame that was before it too you can turn it off but I don't recommend it it's very useful for animatics and this frame here is the drop frame so if you have a really big animation and it's got some frames in it and um, it could cause your computer glit to glitch a lot so it will drop frames that aren't needed to still make it a smooth animation but it's obviously then got less frames in it but that's about it to create animation 4.1.7 Four point one point seven. Yeah, that's right. And you've got your different tools here. I'm sure if you needed anything else, you could let me know. I will do some animation tutorials if you want to know how to do some certain animations, such as running cycles. And other tricky animations to do. Just let me know in the comments if you want any... Um, if you want any advice on how to do those. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that's it to create your animation, the basics anyway. And if you need any help, then just let me know. Do your shout.